Welcome to JTG's Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Part 60. So here we finally are. Right outside the Fortress City gym. Now we're in it. This gym has a few sort of like puzzles that aren't hard to solve. You basically just walk through most of them. Uh, for this gym, I will be using my trusty, trusty, uh, yeah, Alekic. And I'm going to battle every trainer, so I'll get maximum XP I can from these, this gym. Oh yeah, I forgot about Skarmory, it's steel, isn't it? So I'm going to have to use, um... Heat wave. So I'll use heat wave to defeat the Skarmory. And of course, Atropius in this room? Are they? Oh, I don't know. I'll see soon if they are anyway. So I'll just use Blaze Kick for all the steel. And if Tropius is in it, grass types. Because. As you should know, electricity isn't good against grass and steel types. You know, I train this much because I thought that the Pokemon at this level, because I had forgotten, would be about the same level as me. But it turns out that they are, well, just a bit higher than they le the level they were, where the, my Pokemon were before I trained them at all. So, uh, I was a bit surprised about that, actually. But... I'm guessing that the next gym will have much higher Pokemon, much higher level. Oh, I'm not Sing. Sing is so annoying when it's used against you. It's one of those moves like Protect and Detect that it's only good when it is on your side and it's really annoying when it is used against you. And I don't have any Awakenings. Now I know I have a Kesto Berry in my bag. But I don't want to use that because I want to leave it just in case I don't get any awakenings. Um, before, well, I should do really, but before I really need one. Because then, in like a really big time of need, I will use that Kestro Berry. Because Kestro Berry is pure sleep. So I'll use Electric to wipe out Swablu, and I'll use Heat Wave when it wakes up to wipe out Skarmory. It turns out to actually be easier to level up when I don't have the XP share. But that's probably because I always had to switch out. Yeah, yeah. I thought there might be some Tropius. Tropius don't look like a bird Pokemon, do they? Can they even fly? Can they? I don't know in... I think I saw in an episode of Pokemon once a Tropius flying, but... Because this is one of the games, I have never, of course, seen a Tropius fly. So, if anyone can answer that, then please do.
Here's another Pokemon that is Zapu, which will also appear, I believe, in the Moss Deep City gym battle, because they're masters of psychic Pokemon, which is going to be a little bit of a struggle for Heatwave because it's half fighting, so it um, gets completely destroyed by psychic attacks, but seeing as my Pokemon are also catching up to Heatwave's level, Heatwave will of course be higher level again but they might be the same level as Heatwave is now at that time so I should be able to um, defeat those at Mosty. <sighs> I'm sorry for showing all the battles you may be getting a little bored I am a bit but it's yeah it's good because I'm in a gym and I want to get all the um, XP I can get from this gym because sometimes I leave trainers out and just run towards the gym leader and battle the gym leader and then I can't battle the trainers inside the gym. So uh, just watch the battles. It's best. You know it is. Right, now this puzzle always confuses me, always. I mean, I know how to do it in my head, but it always just completely annoys me, all the time. I always forget how to do things, and I always get stuck like this, and then I have to think harder. Yeah, so that's what you need to do. You need to do that, you need to push that, you need to push that, and then you need to push this big one, and then go through, and then... Yeah, and here she is, the gym leader herself, Winona. It's been so long since I've been in a gym fight, I'll try and make this a good one. You have to wait to see it. Bye.